think we gotta get down. Oh. I think we gotta get down here. So the source of the problem. Let's just. Uh, you know what? Start shooting. Just start shooting. <laughs> Their animations were a little advanced by the time we got down here. That's cool. That's cool that you did okay, that, Okay, we need this herb, or I need it. Who wants to drop what? Here. Here, I got it. Uh, a lot of staticky. I don't know what. Oh shit! <laughs> Whoa! Oh, get away from him! Some of them just explode. He's alive. Okay. We're doing it. I don't even mind this section right now. Honestly, yeah. Uh, there's a certain tension to it. It's the big shit battle at the end that always rustles my gym jams. And you're wondering, what big shit, shit battle? Well, the one we're about to fight. Get away! Oh, wow, he's gross. Look at that. He grows. Can't believe how gross he is, man. Off we go. Checkpoint. How one? Oh, fuck. fuck. Straight. Oh! I don't like that there's a mine there. Resuscitate, Chris! Oh, there's a mine over there. I don't like that. Is there a way we can make this work? Uh, whatever. We can drop Get, something. Uh, uh, when you discard, it doesn't. It drops it on the floor, and you can pick it up again. Yeah, or is it no, dis discard? It's, it's gone. It's gone into the ether. Shit. Now, hold on. Okay. If only what I didn't have all this useless magnum ammo. Could pick it up. I don't. I'm tossing the uh there. I tossed my precious Your what? Uh, uh rifle ammo. Because I know I'll get more, because that's how the game works. True. Here's your dirtbag shotgun ammo, you fucking asshole. Well, maybe um... I will grab the incendiary grenades. You stay away. You grab your precious shotgun ammo. Oh, well. It's the only ammo I have left because I have no more uh, handgun ammo. And I only use Magnum against a boss, which are we doing right now? Because there's boss shit everywhere. Yeah, no. It's just stupid. That's a boss. That's a JJ. That's JJ. One for JJ. Put all the Magnum into him. I don't know if I like JJ. Seems like an asshole. <laughs> That's because he is an asshole. Are you are you serious right now, JJ? I'm gonna have to run forward. Okay. Oh, hold on. Get down. Can you get a second follow-up on him after I do this? Nope, I can't get a third one, but hey, that was good. God damn it! Can I get the second one? No, I can't. Oh, no! How's your Magnum doing? Uh, I have lots of Magnum ammo. Good. You get him from that side, I'll get him from this. Fuck. 
That's fun. Oh, what an asshole. Look at this. Yeah! Like, this is when the game is super fun. Yep. When you're against a huge badass. That's a key card. Come on! Oh, I can't I pick that, that up. Uh, there was like a health and other stuff. I yeah, think. I didn't. I don't remember where the fuck it is. I think it's I picked a mine. It you picked. Did you? I didn't pick up the health. Oh. We walked by it unless one of us picked it up. Oh, well. I don't got it. It's gone now. Mm. Oh, there it is. It's right here. Look, I found it. I'm standing directly on it, even. Nope, no ammo. I mean, two ammo. The ammo, two ammo. Oh, yay! Yeah, look at that. Now what we're supposed to do is have a big running battle with him and use all these things, all that stupid shit. But we were like, no. We were too smart for it. There's machine gun ammo. Oh, where? Back where we're at. Oh, yeah, I love machine gun. Delicious. Alright, well, I guess we're good to go. We need two key cards. Maybe we got one. <laughs> Chef is like, let me let me check your homework there. Do we really need to Yeah, yeah, we need two two key cards, absolutely. I think the second key card might be over here. Found the second key card. Now two key cards. It was inexplicably the that we needed. in the thing. Meet you up at the door that needs the two key cards. I'll meet you up. I'll meet you up, fam. I would really like to get to an upgrade thing right now. Absolutely not. Yeah. Uh, look at all those little. Pika, pika, pika. Look at all these mini hunks that love yeah, Pokemon. Pikachu. All right. But then when the big fat guys come, they're like, Raichu! <laughs> okay then. Boy, I feel like shit. Thanks, partner. That yeah, can't be it. There's gotta be more guys coming. What the? Yeah, that'd be uh, that'd be a more guys. Down below. Hey, can you grab this and then heal me with it? Hold on, he's gonna shoot another volley, so let's wait. Oh. Well, I didn't think you'd get hit. I couldn't believe he blew Using up it. the thing. Can't believe he ate the whole thing. That's what I said. Did you just hear a... Yeah, that was me. No, it wasn't. Why, what makes you say that? Because it was a monster in the game. I heard it through my headphones. We're wearing headphones. It helps us with the recording. Is today a weird session to you? Um, Is there a weird... Not, it wasn't until just now. Oh, man. You made it weird. I ruined everything. Keep RE5 weird. <laughs> Fuck off. RE5 is not weird enough, that's the problem. Oh, uh, yeah, it is. Yeah. It needs to be a bit weirder. Yeah, it's too normal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, that is actually a real problem. It is too normal. RE4 was weird. RE4 was weird. RE6 is normal as it happened. Uh, let's go 7 is weird. actually kind of weird. Oh, not as weird as it should have been, but still weird. Yeah, I like it. Jeez, welcome to my personal space, Shava. Welcome. You're in here now. Oh, look! So, you've made it this far. Ah. Too bad you won't make it much further. I'm evil! breed of humans. Given birth by the progenitor virus. His voice is so a young guy trying to be an old man. ...were entrusted with endless potential. Of them, 
Only one survived. Oh, no, it's a bad Palpatine. You. No, well, yeah. you and the other one. Are you saying I was manufactured? I was to become a god. <laughs> Creating a new world with an advanced race of human beings. However, all was lost with Raccoon City. Despite that setback, your creation still holds great significance. <laughs> now my candle burns dimly. Uh, ironic, isn't it? For one who has the right to be a god. To face his own mortality. The right to be a god. Damn. The over a right. decade of characterization yep. leads to an old man going, I'm a god! <sighs> like, talked about it before, and it's just like... You. Also, I don't know about you, Matt, but like when you have a when you have a character like Wesker who's like cool and confident is in in one I'm talking about. Yeah. And like an asshole. And like they get retroactively written to be like a bioengineered superhero, they become way less interesting. Way less cool. The fact that Wesker was an asshole cop who just took a bribe. Yeah. But that that being said, it's like in Code Veronica where he's like, I've been made into like a weird like super machine. That was fine because that it was, was cool. Because it was after. Yeah. It and was, plus it raises the stakes and like if he's just a normal guy, just shoot him. Shoot him right now. But if now. he's like a fucking T one thousand one billion, then it's way cooler. That being said, I I was always enraged by the whole story contrivance of it was my plan to get murdered by Tyrant. Yeah, I love I love that. <laughs> So why don't we can we sell my we shotgun? Need, we need we need to do some some shit right now. Mom, can you buy me a new shotgun or upgrade my existing super put, soaker? Put everything in your inventory into this box. Everything. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna start over. Okay. With this, just hit remove. Just yeah, I'm always scared. At, the, at first, I thought we it was are like starting over with this shit. Put all my ammo. God. Damn it, put that ammo in there. I'm not gonna tell you again, young man. Okay. Mom, can you upgrade my stun rod? No. But Dad says a stun rod is a growing boy. Yeah. <laughs> all right. First of all, we're selling the Ithaca shotgun. Why does it exist in our inventory? We're Get out of sell here. It later. Okay, now we're gonna sell this fucking thing. Which, man, you get the upgrades back in money. Isn't That's that good. nice? Alright. Then. Uh, there you go. Sell all the healing items. No. For big money. Uh, can you? Yeah, for 100. <laughs> it's so worthless. Can you sell the, the ammunition? Yeah, you can. For all so worthless. I can sh shell your shares. Mm. Yeah. Alright, let's upgrade this thing. Yeah, that firepower needs to go up. Firepower need to go up. It, it, the, the whole thing with the street sweeper slash whatever, it's because it has a really big spread, right? No, it's because it has an amazing capacity. Oh. Uh. Which we may or may not be able to actually use. Nah. But my firepower is shitty. So the basic thing with the jailbreaker is that the final capacity upgrade kicks it up to a hundred. Oh right, okay. But because we have been bumble fucking around the game, we're low on money. Yeah. This is Matt's fault. Mm, I think it's a little bit of both our faults. Making this an LP is, is that the is the fault. <laughs> yeah. All right, so. I want my rifle, and I want my, uh, this, right? You want your shoddy, and you want your mag. Oh, that's Caesar. Yeah. Uh, you have the ability to go get your I, rifle. I do. Shoddy. I can go into the tickle trunk and get yeah. it back. 
And I want this. All right. Now, here's the question. Do we even need to carry the handguns anymore? Really? The only thing that that the only thing is that like for a balanced team, it's like one like because all your stuff is long range, and you know. Yeah, but like the, the my. I'm just a useless at a long my range. My AK I, is basically the. So just be aware that at long range, I can't do all that much. That's fine. All right, just letting you know. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know what? You grab the handgun. You you take your handgun, but I'm gonna abstain. Can I take your handgun? Yeah, you you should take my handgun. Which is which one? Uh, you know what? That's a really fucking good question. Critical. Uh, I believe it is the one you're on right now. It is that one. It's the one. It's the one that's full. Okay, now grab the ammunition. I'm not gonna take the stun rod. Is what I'm yeah, not. Gonna grab take. some handgun ammunition. I took the wrong ammo. Okay, I have 150 of these, and then that looks good for you, honestly. I think it's fine. I'm gonna take the stun rod because I actually use it. Like I, I you, you've had the stun rod for I think ten episodes. I've yeah, and used I it twice. used it once. Uh, and I'm gonna grab my rifle ammo. Oh, that's the fuck. Oh man. Oh I god. Oh, that's why, because you're on it. I couldn't get Damn on it. it. I uh, kind of want the grenades. Do you want them? You go ahead, take them away. And uh, then uh, I'm gonna just buy a couple flash rounds. You know what? Eight's fine, actually. Eight's fine. And, uh, there we go. And, uh... Yeah, we're good to go. Now we have inventory slots. That will fill up immediately. Okay. You- are you ready? To laugh? That awful, <laughs> that awful, awful Wesker. I can't believe. Oh. Fuck. This just in, a, a, a Cerebus, much not unlike the one in the Spencer estate, was just went over the, in the park. It's a big pile of goo. I do remember this. It's a big pile of goo. And it's your best friend's face. They'll know what to do. What the hell happened here? It's the one reborn. It's as close as the one reborn can get. Oh no. Excella. What's going on? Why? When I've done so much. All for you. Wasn't your plan to cover the whole world with the thing you just got injected Wesker. into you? Maybe Don't maybe worry. Wesker told her something different. It is at its end. Uroboros is on the eve of its appearance. Six that bad texture. But not on my watch! Albert! You said we changed this world together! Oh, yeah, but he's an evil liar betraying murderer. Also, I, could Wesker hear them? Wesker's I kind of doubt it. He put little speakers in the, in no, the mics. things behind them. Yeah, little mics. You will understand, Chris. One glimpse of my new world, and it will all make perfect sense. Show yourself! No. It's too late for you. Where is he speaking you from? Fucking hell? No. <laughs> it's just a really dark uh, oh, yeah. captain's quarters or whatever. Has rejected you. Though you have been an excellent asset. I have one Ooh. Last task for you. Those gyrations. Oh no. And the zone archive comes out. It's like even worse than uh, Irvin. You know what? There is one thing I do like about Urberus, and it is the only bioweapon in Resident Evil history that actually uses mass to get bigger. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's like I'm not just gonna be nothing out of nothing. It absorbs people and then it gets bigger. So this thing gets really big because there was a big pile of bodies. Even though it's... He it turns big, into Hedora. Big black goo monster. The most interesting of all monsters. Yeah. 
It's either like either one way or the other. It's a big goo monster and we're like that's boring or it's a big animal. Okay, I thought I pressed that. I also thought I pressed that. One of us didn't, or both oh, of us did Oh, good, not. we get the cutscene again. Well, we can skip it, I'm sure. Maybe. It's not too bad. Oh, oh, Chef, I don't, oh, no. Let's, let me get out of here. Oh, it's our old partner. You know. Oh, my God. We did little flips. All these combat rolls. Oh, look at it. Oh, this is crazy. This black goo monster keeps swinging at us. Fortunately, we still have those little prompts from God. L2, R2? Yep. I, I, I certainly... Okay. Wesker! We'll never defeat him. This is weird. Is this not weird to you? This, these animations look bad, also, for some reason. They look alright. They look sped up. Yeah, I know what you mean, but it's not as worse as, like, I've seen in other games. Oh my god. Oh, it's so, it's so easy. See, look, it looks sped up! Yeah, now we're slamming those buttons. Oh! Run! Oh, it's a goo monster! It's so, so smelly. Oh, it smells awful! I don't want to fight it anymore! <laughs> Quick, get inside! Oh. oh, there's a cute- it just cuts. Oh, man. That's kind of- Persistent son of a bitch. That's not very Resident Evil-like. It usually wants so to show how much money it's waving its dick around. Yeah. Like, I don't know. By having no we gotta get the hell out of here before it destroys this place. Ah! That was scary and gross. Oh, it's a goo monster. Can't go that way. Because <coughs> of the goo. Oh, man. Wait, there's stuff to open. Oh, look! This is their... This is their, uh, idea to make a Verdugo level. Hey, I found a big treasure. Remember when you fought Verdugo and he was chasing you? I don't remember Verdugo. Who are you talking about? Oh, are you talking about the most memorable thing in the world? <laughs> The coolest thing that ever was in Resident Evil. Evil. <laughs> I thought this was you on the floor. <laughs> oh, fuck my ass. Oh no. Mad, you got hit by the thing. Oh no, there's gonna be a monster. He's gonna Hey, can you burn me, me or something? I have a lot of goo on myself. Oh no, I can't burn you. <laughs> Please burn me. No. I need to be I burned. Refers to, I refers to burn you. Oh, I didn't really even want it. But I guess I, I don't want it either. Hey, use your your herb. I want to heal now. Give give me give me the herb. See, I didn't even I didn't even want the thing, but now I have it. Out we go. Oh look, shotgun. The, the calm goo monster on the black sea. Yeah! This intermittent ducking out of vents is so threatening. I love it! I'm very threatened by the goo monster. That monster outside is very like, hello my baby, hello my honey, like kind of... Oh, right, come on. Something, something. Oh, Wesker oh, sent me a kiss by wire. Can't believe Wesker would do that to me. He's, he's my There's a lot of electroshock, uh... Stun rods everyone seemed to I have. I see that. Where are you at? I'm just down the hallway. I didn't go into the room. Okay, hold on. You, I was get, scared. you get it. Through that. Oh, you scared me. Yeah. Here, I'll heal you, partner. Why are you leaving all these things unopened? Fuck you. We had an ammo problem. But that's Found a find, finding chalices every which way. Yeah, what is with all these guys? Can't can't let the BSA yeah. get our chalices. Yeah, that's what the deal is. <laughs> stun rod's really perfect for a situation like this. When you need you just to walk, stun people, you just hit them, and then you just hit them again, and they're like, "Ow!" Wow, that that guy over there. Thank you for shooting through me. Fuck off. Seriously. I've never seen a plan go so well. We got the bridge key card. God. I'm 
remember when we played RE7, I was like, oh, a boat again with black goo monsters. Must it always be so? Yes. Right, here we go. Here's the here's the document. Spencer's notebook. Just received word that Raccoon City has been wiped out. The Americans finally took action against us. I hope the irony of using the very military machine that was supposed to protect them from foreign attackers to kill their own people is not lost on them. While the danger posed by the threat of the T-Virus spreading was very real, I don't think Americans will easily forgive their government for the deaths of over 100,000 of their own people. Mm. Yes, it was the American government's fault that everyone turned into fucking zombies. In the tr if the truth of this matter is ever brought to light, support for current administration will plummet. I don't think he wants that. Even a child can see that they will come after Umbrella with everything they have to hide their own foolish mistakes. They will blame Umbrella for Raccoon City's annihilation. With this in mind, we have now promoted a child to Umbrella CEO. It would seem that Umbrella will share Raccoon City's face, but perhaps it will be to a lesser degree. Umbrella was nothing but a tool for the research of the percent generator virus. Even without that tool, the research still survives. Only Umbrella's lowly employees will be hurt by its dissolution. Holy. If the secret research involving progenitor virus is protected, then I can always rebuild anew. I've already made preparations for such a plan. The research facility in Africa remains a secret, and it is there that progenitor virus has produced something that we didn't achieve until the late 80s. Only a handful of people in the company are even aware of the African facility. Oh, where's Thanks all these expenses to, going to Africa for? To our strict regulation of the flow of information. Only a minimum amount of personnel were ever transferred from Africa to other locations, and they were always closely monitored. Director Bailey has been confined to the African facility for almost 30 years, and even that has all been for this day. All that remains is to close the, that facility and everything will go to my plan. Once that facility's gone, all the connections to Umbrella will disappear. Then I will have to deal with anyone with a level 10 security clearance as they are the only ones who know of the African facility's existence. Everyone else will be similar. My secrets will be protected. When one buries a treasure, one should not leave behind a map. And also, then, uh, don't write it in a fucking journal, idiot! Yeah, and then here's the document. Personnel with access to the company's secrets. Oswell Spencer. Mm. Deceased. Uh, Henning P. Imprisoned. I don't know who that is. Yeah. Um, Masaki T, which I assume is the name of, like, a fucking Capcom employee. Jenny K. Whereabouts? I don't know. I don't know. Carlos M. Uh, I remember people thought that was Carlos. Yeah. I doubt. Uh, eliminated. It, yeah. Brandon B, Frank E, Isabella C, Greg A, L D, Michael K, Ethan W. Ethan W? Ethan Winter. Is that the guy from Bar 7? Nah, it could be. Could be. What about your document? Uh, it has been confirmed that the accident at the Raccoon City Arclay Research Facility was due to the involvement of Project W test subject. Number 013, hereby... Ooh, number 13, ooh, the evil one! Hereafter referred to as Albert. His death in the accident has made obtaining any further information an impossibility. Lord Albert's death was confirmed by the information department. Uh, Albert, uh, Prince Albert's death puts the current success rate of Project W down to 18%. The quota of qualified individuals for the project has been drastically reduced and must be addressed immediately. This poses a great situation for any progress that can help to be made in the project. Since there is no roster of qualified individuals to replace the recent losses, it would be advisable to start selecting individuals from the pool of failed candidates. After this, adjustments can be made that will restore up to 93% of the quota prior to Albert's death. Umbrella Information Department, Alex, Alex Wesker. Wesker. There it is. There's also a list of the Wesker children, and Alex yeah. is listed there. Um... Seems like the Wesker children have an unfortunate desire to stick themselves filled with goo viruses. They, they love that shit. To the bridge! It's like, maybe it's like Wesker just finding out, like, oh, I'm a weird clone and I'm not as special as I thought or something is, like, supposed to be justification for him to destroy the entire world. But he was already going to do that plan before he found out about no, that. No, he wasn't. He was too. Nah. Look at this stripper pole. It's a pretty common trope that. Ooh, yeah. Like, that's Sephiroth's backstory too. Mm, that's true. Sephiroth, not Sephiroth. That's a different person. Um, is it? Yeah, it is. But, um, like. Yeah. Oh no, I'm a mutant clone! I hate everyone. I guess I hate everyone! And I'm like. Test two babies are a thing! The machine gun ammo right here. Right? Yeah. Like. I think. That's like... I don't know, I don't watch every birth every second. Every, I can't, like, 
you know. Oh, you like, for fuck's sake, Paige is a test tube baby. Does that mean when she found that out, she's like, I'm gonna destroy the Earth! I think, and viruses! I think if you were a fictional character <laughs> written by Japan, you almost that's, always see, do that's what, think that's what it, it though. It's like... Satellite Laser Shango. It's the Laser Shango? Oh, I forgot God, about the I Laser Shango. I forgot Shango. about this fucking Pop dumbass Pop laser. Pop a Laser Shango. It's a satellite laser. Maybe we can use it to destroy Why don't we just leave? Why don't we go home? Well, I mean... Hurry, we don't have time to waste. It's the kind of thing, it's like, let's say you kill it with a satellite laser, right? Yeah, which is... You're in the middle of the ocean. Aren't you worried about, like, the spores just disseminating into the ocean? Nah. The whale sperm will kill it. Okay, do you remember the part in, um... The, the very first thing that happens in, Re in uh, Revelations 1, where you go to the beach, yeah. And these fucking flesh monsters fucking Are, like, wash up covered all over and, and no one seems to take it seriously that these things are just floating around in the ocean. And then they're dead, but then you get close to some and some are still alive and everyone's like, Whoa, wow, that Doesn't was a that thing. mean that one could just bite somebody and or, I forget that this fight happened at all. I, I remember it as soon as I read about the dumb laser. Yeah. 